Hello, I'm making this video as an extension of the 5D chess tutorial that I released a couple of days ago. It should be linked somewhere on the screen and in the description. If you haven't seen that already, that's where you should start. In this video, I'll be discussing how to checkmate your opponent, as well as how to get out of a situation that looks like checkmate that I've seen some players struggling with. One of the main questions I got after the last video was whether or not you needed to checkmate all of the kings, one of the kings in every timeline, or just any of the kings in any timeline. The answer to that question is that you just need to checkmate one king in one timeline at any point in the present or in the past. As you can see in this example here, this knight is checkmating the king on this board in the past. You'll note that the king on this board in this timeline is perfectly safe. This is still checkmate because you only need one king to be checkmated. It's worth noting that as you move kings between timelines, you can end up with points in time when there are no kings in a timeline, such as here, or where there are multiple kings in a timeline, such as here. This means that you can get checkmate on either of the kings at this point in time in this timeline, and that there's no king to get checkmate on at this point in time in this timeline. Of course, kings can come back to timelines, such as here, moving back into it, and at that point, it can then be checkmated. One of the problems I've seen players running into is when they have one or more of their kings in check, and they can't find any possible moves to save it. I've set up a situation like that here. As you can see on this board, this queen is checking a king that's in the past. Because it's in the past, this king can't move anywhere to avoid it. So what we would normally have to do is kill the queen to stop this. However, if you look, there's no pieces on this timeline that white has that can kill the queen. And there are no pieces on any of the other timelines that white has that can interact with the queen. This looks like it's checkmate. However, the game hasn't ended because there is an option for what you can do. This is a case I like to think of as an eventual checkmate. There's nothing that can stop this queen from taking the king at this point. However, there is an option for what white can do. See, white can take one of their pieces, for example, this queen, and send it back in time to before when the king's going to get taken. For example, if we send it all the way back to here, we'll create a new timeline, and the present will be shifted all the way back. Now that white has moved their queen all the way back to here, and pulled the present along with it, they have all of this time to try and win, or kill the queen, before the present catches up with the eventual checkmate. If they manage to kill the queen in the future, which will eventually become the present, it will no longer be in a position to checkmate the king. It won't have a move left because it'll have been removed. Also, white could simply win before this future becomes present and therefore becomes reality. All of the future is just a possibility. It's only the present and the past that are concrete. It's worth noting that you don't have to go back in time to before when the king could be taken. You just have to go back to a point in time before when the piece that could check the king has a move. For example, if we undo this move that we were going to make, it's still valid for the king to move here, for example. This will create another timeline and shift the present into the past, to a time directly before when the queen could take the king. Note that the king that is being put in check is in the past from this present, but the queen doesn't have a move yet because it's not in the present, it's currently in the future. The farther back that you move though, the more time that you'll have to try and win before the present catches up to your eventual checkmate. Well, that's the basics on how to get into and out of Checkmate. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out. There's also a fantastic Discord for discussion and learning, which I'll link in the description. Thank you.